To this day, officials of Santa Clarita have not provided any laws against pet owners who have allowed their unleashed animals to attack another pet or citizen. The issue has become an ongoing problem for pet owners, including Santa Clarita resident Adam Todd, whose dog was attacked on a walk in his own neighborhood. On this route, I know there's two dogs at this house that are always left out, uh, but they're behind a gate, so I never worry about them. So I was walking my dog um, past the house with the two dogs, and all of a sudden I see the gate open, and the two dogs charged out at me and my dog. I was shocked um, to see these big uh, animals growling and coming right at me. Um, I didn't know if they were going to attack me or my dog. Adam was worried for the safety of his dog as well as his own health. But what concerned him more was that no one could be held accountable for the incident. I asked the police, what if that dog had attacked me? What if that dog had ripped my arm off? And would, they, would the owners of the dog be criminally liable? And the police said no. I would make sure you get all the documentation about any damage that the attacking dog did. Uh, and once you have all that information, I would go to uh, a local lawyer who handles specifically these types of cases uh, and start a civil suit um, in court. For Canyons News, I'm Stuart Carpell.